Hey guys, J-Man here for Comic Book Review. Adventures of Superman, Jonathan Kent, number three. I'm a little pissed off because I already filmed this video and then I lost it and it got corrupted and I lost the entire thing. So I'm redoing this my second time over. And this comic was good, but it's just irritating me that I have to re-talk about it all. So I don't even remember all the points I made and I got rid of everything. I never really cared about Jonathan Kent that much. Um, I loved him as a kid. As soon as Bendis aged him up, I found him uninteresting. Um, Tom Taylor's run, I collected maybe like half of it uh, on the on the Superman title. It was okay. They turned him bisexual to maybe make him more interesting or to appease the fans or, you know, whatever. It didn't, I don't think it did anything for him. <laughs> it's just like, okay. It was still kind of boring anyways. So he could be boring and straight or he could be boring and bisexual. I don't think it matters. But this series, this is the continuation of his series. I guess it got canceled and now they're restarting it here. This has probably been the most, the most interested I've been in Jonathan Kent. So um, I don't have the physical comic. I only have the digital comic. So I might go back and get the physical comic though, because I did like this one. Uh, I'm going to review it using space, story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between zero to two. Two is the best you can get, okay? If I give any category a two, or if I give this entire comic a 10, that's not saying that this comic is better than Watchmen or V for Vendetta or something like that. If I give the artistry a two out of two, I'm not saying that the art is better than Neil Adams or Jack Kirby or something, or Alex Ross or whatever. I'm just saying that for this comic, it all came together nicely. That's how I review the comics. Storyline, I'm gonna give it a 1.5 for story. Um, so he's been taken to another earth. Ultraman's been killing off Kal-El's and um, this Superman guy, this Superman, killed Ultraman. And it was a bit shocking and Superboy's like, oh my God, or some whatever, Jonathan's like, oh, I'm, I'm shocked. So um, now we're finding out about this utopia that they're in, but not all is what it seems. We know, we know, of course, it's never gonna be all what it seems. The reason I give this didn't give this a two out of two for story, because I am intrigued by the story, is that it still has the, oh, Superman is evil, and he's corrupt in this one or whatever. And it's just like, eh, I don't like that. <clears throat> and um, yeah, one point that I gave it a little extra was that Jonathan Kent is becoming the electric blue. Like he's the electric Superman, which I really like. You can see electric blue Superman stuff up, up, uh, over there. Um, so I do like electric blue Superman. And I think that does make Superboy or Jonathan Kent uh, interesting. So you gotta separate him from Superboy because Superboy right now is clearly better. But uh, Alex Luthor's good in this one, so he's helping out. Okay. So I liked, uh, yeah, story was pretty good. Pacing, I'm going to give it 1.5. There's not really a lot of action. There's a little bit of action. But again, this is the stories unfolding here. This is almost like an issue one. Really, it should be, this should have been an issue one. Um, or maybe issue two if they condense the first two. But I'm interested in what's going on. And that's helping the pacing a lot as well. Um, there's a point where Superboy, Superboy, God where Jonathan Kent saves um, a baby and then he sees that, you know, they're scared of him. They're scared of the S, so something must be wrong. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So pacing, 1.5. Artistry, 1. The art's okay. I'm not dying over it that much. Like, the colors are very nice and it pops very well. But the overall art, it's okay. It just, it's a bit simple. Um, it's a pass. 1 is a pass. Um, for the characters, I'm going to give it 1.5. Um, I actually like Jonathan Kent here. This is the first time I've actually kind of cared about what's going on. The other characters are interesting. I'm not saying that they're great characters and I love them, but they're interesting. I'm interested to see what's going on with the Superman because he's lost Lois. I guess she was pregnant at the time. What's going on with Batman, right? So they've made enough interesting things on this earth to make me kind of question what's going on. And for enjoyment, I'll give it 1.5 as well. So seven, three, seven out of 10. I'm giving this seven out of 10. So that's a big, that's a big pass. Five, six is a pass. Seven is above, above that. So um, obviously nine and 10 are, are great. So I might go back and grab these two issues. The next issue is gonna be very important because either this is all gonna come together really nicely and we're gonna see what's going on with this world and exactly how Superboy or Jonathan Kent is gonna fit in to this story. So far, it's been okay. Overall, the pacing should have been, this should have been two issues instead of three, but I'm intrigued enough to give this a go, all right? So I will say that the positives are, I haven't been this interested in a long time with Jonathan Kent, so that's good. 
Um, and the electric blue stuff, I hope that comes back and they should just make him electric blue because that would, that would definitely differentiate him from Superboy who's clearly, you know, better right now. Um, yeah, it, the art isn't bad. It, it is nice. It's just, I don't know. Not, it's just not, it's not, it's a pass. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm giving it a pass. So if you like the art, you might give this maybe an eight out of 10, but seven out of 10 is very generous. I'm usually over and extra generous to Superman. Um, really this might even, you know, maybe be lower for some people. For me, I like Superman. I'm liking what's going on here. Let's see where it, where it, where it goes from here. Okay. Next issue is important. If the next issue is really good, then this might turn out to be a good, a good series. If the next issue is bad, then it's going to be all for nothing. So let's see how it goes. All right, guys, that's it until next time.